Tucson Police Department has been selected to become a mental health learning site. Yes, the goal is to be able to work with the community to help people in crisis while protecting the public. News 4 Tucson's Lupita Murillo has more. Tucson Police is now considered a national law enforcement mental health learning site. It's one of four new agencies that was selected by the Department of Justice. This journey for us started about five years ago. The Pima County Sheriff's Department and the Tucson Police Department put their heads together and really started thinking, what is law enforcement doing? with mental health and persons in crisis. Sergeant Jason Winsky heads the mental health support teams known as MIST. They are one of the five agencies that formed the partnership that earned TPD national recognition. Last fall, this 80-year-old woman was living in her car in a church parking lot. She was trespassing, but she needed evaluation and treatment. Officer Daryl Hussman talked to her and took her to the CRC. Crisis Response Center. It's uh, it's definitely unique because I'm actually getting an opportunity to be more proactive and getting people help. That's the key, getting people help. TPD officials say they are on the cutting edge and offering alternatives to jail. What we're trying to do is solve a greater societal problem of substance use disorder and mental illness. Um, and the fact that neither one of those things are criminal in nature, there's no reason for them to go to jail. They need to be in treatment. Polly Knapp with Connections Health Solutions is one of the partners TPD collaborates with. They're currently working together on the opioid crisis that is often co-occurring with mental health issues, a problem law enforcement sees often. To make sure that people with these co-occurring disorders are getting the best help and treatment that they can. Now with this national recognition, law enforcement agencies from around the country will be able to get federal funding to visit Tucson and see firsthand how they too can help people like this 80 year old woman go from homelessness into housing and treatment. Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson.